In a tape relay station, a transmitter group would be used to send messages via paper tape. There were six paper tape readers and automatic devices that inserted message headers. Here's a little bit of that system. This is a group of three TDs, transmitter distributors, that read the tape. I've only got one hooked up. This is a message identification module. It automatically inserts a header into the message along with the message number. In this case, you can see we're starting at 328. So let's start the first tape. There's a stepper switch that inserts characters and then turns on the reader. And the reader is reading the tape. When it's finished, the stepper switch will reset itself. Okay, let's set up the second tape. We've just started the second tape. The message counter is now reading 330. It's turned over. And we'll do this one more time. In a complete system, there are two banks of these paper tape readers, so you can load one while the first one is sending a message. And then when the second one finishes sending its message, you can have loaded number one and it will be all be done. Okay, let's go look at the result at the receiving end, which is in another room. So be patient. Here's a printer at the far end. It says the header message number 329. That's test message number one. Take number two went out as with the header message ID of 330. And the last one went out as message number 331. So that's how it worked over and out.